we are leaving today to fly to Maryland for my craniocervical fusion and QRAD compression surgery. And I'm nervous, but I know it's the right decision. And these last few days leading up to surgery, I've really felt peace about my choice. And I've had a lot of small miracles where my friends and my family have done really kind things for me and things that have really just brought me strength and courage for this hard thing that I'm gonna do. And so I've definitely seen the hand of God in my life this past week and I know that he's gonna be with me every step of the way. And so I'm ready and I'm ready to get it over with and I will take you guys along with me. So I'll see you when we get there. Hi, I'm in pre-op right now before my surgery and I have my family here with me. You can show my family. <laughs> 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 and I am a little bit nervous, but I ready to do this and get it over with and thank you for all the prayers and nice messages i'll see you guys after hi i made it out of surgery and it's been a rough day and this is my ping pong and i can press it i'm gonna press it <laughs> and um, <clears throat> I made it through, and my doctor told my family that it was a much needed surgery, and that my brain stem compression was pretty bad, so, but all went well. Everything with the surgery went perfectly according to them and so now it's just for recovery and hopefully each day it'll get a little bit easier yeah struggling but thankful and hopeful so my family is the best and I don't know what I would do with that Good morning. Welcome to day two. I got some sleep last night, thankfully. I am still in a lot of pain. My heart is beating really fast too. But anyways, we talked to doctor um, last night and he told us that it was one of the worst cases that he had seen he said the surgery was much needed so I'm glad we did it it's gonna be a long road ahead but we're gonna do it and it's gonna be worth it have a uh, I don't know which that one might be the oxygen but I have like a drain coming out of my incision that's like filling up with blood. It's kind of gross. But anyways, Jake spent the night here last night with me. Uh. And yeah, we're hoping that I'll be able to get up and walk today. Um, and I don't know, every time I like move, my neck hurts really bad and it also hurts my neck to talk but hopefully I'll just keep getting better <laughs> thank you again for all the messages and support and if you're gonna have this surgery too you're gonna rock it you're gonna do great so anyways I will talk to you guys later Good morning, Angel. It's great to be 
my first meal. Organic Sesame Street. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> Hi. So I got to change out of my gown into these cute ice cream pajamas. And I'm still in a lot of pain. It hurts to talk and my voice is raspy because of the breathing tube from the surgery. But so we saw Dr. Anderson today and he's hopeful that once I recover that I will be feeling a lot better. So that's good. We're really thankful for him and his team. And I was able to stand up today and walk a few steps just around the bed and hopefully tomorrow I'll be making it out into the hallway. We'll see. I feel pretty unsteady right now, but we'll get there. Baby steps. Oh, I forgot to show you guys this lovely drain that's coming out of my neck full of blood. <laughs> Hello again to my glamorous craniocervical fusion recovery. Um, I just threw up a few times, so that was fun. Um, and yeah, I haven't been able to keep down any food yet, but hopefully I will soon. morning. Welcome to day three of my fusion and decompression recovery in the hospital. <clears throat> it has definitely been rough. Yesterday I had a lot of nausea and I've been having difficulty swallowing but I was able to get down um, some of a smoothie, which is good. Um, <clears throat> my mom brought me these balloons, and you can see in those flowers over there, which are really pretty. And we haven't seen my surgeon today, but we're hoping that he will come in soon. And <clears throat> Yeah, we made it through the night. I definitely am pretty sensitive to the pain medications. They don't help my pain a lot, but they like to give me a lot of side effects. So I am just hoping the pain will go down soon. But <clears throat> to be honest, I'm pretty used to being in a lot of pain, so it isn't that much worse. But anyways, we'll see when I'll be able to go home. Maybe tomorrow, I'm not really sure. But I will keep you updated. See you later. So I want you to just keep, you probably didn't feel like you're exaggerating that, but you actually when you're walking Hi everyone, it's day four in the hospital, and today I changed my pajama pants, they have hearts on them, they're from my sister, but <clears throat> anyways, we saw the doctor today and he looked at me and he was like, yeah, you're not going home today. So, <clears throat> we're hoping that I'll be able to go home tomorrow, but we'll see. I've been having trouble with um, drinking and swallowing and eating. I guess when you get a fusion, your swallowing ability changes, and so um, I've seen a speech 
pathologist to try and learn some techniques for swallowing after fusion. And <clears throat> yeah, I just feel really nauseous and I've been throwing up some, but anyways, I hope that that will stop soon and that my pain will get a little bit better. This today has been rough. Yesterday was rough. I guess all the days were rough, but you know, I kind of expected that. So we, we press on and we'll get there. It'll get better eventually, I'm sure. But um, yeah, this surgery is not easy. Um, <clears throat> but I think it'll be worth it. And <clears throat> I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I learned. Oh yeah, hopefully I'll leave, I'll leave tomorrow. And once I leave the hospital, we will stay in this hotel for a while before leaving. Um, I think we will see my surgeon tomorrow and he'll kind of decide whether I can go home. The goal is to be not reliant on IV fluids or IV pain medications before leaving because the doctor today said, no, you'll just, if you leave, reliant on those, you're just going to end up in the ER and that'll be miserable. So yeah, we don't want that. And hmm, I haven't been on my phone a whole lot just because I haven't been feeling like it, but <clears throat> I've gotten up to go on some walks today. The doctor today wasn't too impressed with my with my walk <laughs> yesterday, he was like, no, we want you to be walking like laps and laps and laps before you leave. And I was like, okay. But, so we're trying to work our way up there. And yeah, hopefully tomorrow will be a better day. I know it's, it's gonna be a while before things improve, but we're hoping it'll be sooner than later, so. Anyways, I will talk to you guys later. Did you know that applesauce is easier to swallow than water? I didn't know that, but now I do. I may or may not have been watching Mary Kate and Ashley movies while I was in the hospital. Hello, today is day five in the hospital. Today is also Mother's Day and my mom is right over here. Mom, do you want to come say hi? Hello. <laughs> I'm there for you, babe. Very grateful for my beautiful girl. Um, I think something is putting on my laptop. Oh, sorry. Nice work. It's, it's full house. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm like 10 years old. Okay. <laughs> Anyways. Um, <clears throat> thanks mom for being the best mom Aww. ever. Oh, my sweet love. <laughs> Couldn't be more grateful for you, little one. Hopefully we'll get to go home today and, um, we'll be going back to the hotel that we've been staying at and so we're just waiting to see the doctor and hopefully he will let me go home. And <clears throat> then I'll be able to take my medications whenever I need them and that will be really nice. And I'll also be able to have better ice packs because ice packs at, at hospitals are the worst. So, <laughs> there are a lot of perks to leaving the hospital. But anyways, it has been a long week, but we're making it and hopefully it'll get better. I just went on another walk. I felt pretty dizzy, but we did it. So, hopefully I'll be leaving the next time I talk to you guys. So I got released from the hospital and I am headed home. I'm really thankful that I get to leave. <laughs> Thank you.
go. <laughs> Perfect. Hi everyone. So I am about 11 days post-op right now. This is what 12 days of not taking a shower or washing your hair looks like. <laughs> but I am in North Carolina recovering with my family. We made the drive a couple of days ago from Maryland, which took about five, six hours. And it was honestly really, really rough, really painful and exhausting. And unfortunately, I have been experiencing worse seizures and dystonias since then and um, I've had some bad nights and some bad days but we press on and we hope that that will be a temporary thing and anyways when I was in the hospital my my seizure dystonias were actually not bad at all. I barely had any and so I thought, you know, maybe it was the surgery and that they were gone and yeah, not the case, but at my post-op appointment, my surgeon said that it actually can take an average of two years for your brain stem to heal. So this process is going to be slow, the recovery is going to be long, and you just, I think I'm just gonna have to be patient and take any improvement I can get. So really hoping that I won't have to have any more fusions, at least anytime soon. And otherwise everything at the appointment went well. It's just kind of a really hard emotional and physical thing to go through. And so just taking it one day at a time. I have honestly felt the prayers that my friends and my family have said for me and it really means a lot and has given me so much strength so thank you and anyways if you're interested in continuing to follow along on my journey with EDS and with this surgery then click subscribe and I will look forward to seeing you next time.